I've got some blemishes on my camera. I don't know how it's inside, I think. Right, um, I managed to get the big one done. It does need uh, the odd bit of touching up. I've just got this shelving one to do to finish off. Uh, but what I wanted to share, share with you was these. Do you remember when I did the fish one, uh, little tanks? Look, and that come up well. Yeah, it's got some air bubbles in, not bothered about that. And the little seahorse in that side. But I just think they're going to look fantastic on the shelves. No, uh, you can't see it, can you? Look. Like that. <laughs> going to look great. So, there was that one, then the one with the frog in it. They came out really well. I'm pleased with them. One with a little fish. Uh, some fish in that one as well. They're just all part and parcel of, uh, you know, the miniatures that I wanted to do. Now, um, I'll put that in there so I don't lose it. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to have to move this. Let me just stack everything on here. I love my little cash register. I think it's come out really well. And I just have to put the numbers on there. Which I think I'll write them in white. Something like that. <laughs> Pleased with it all, actually. Yeah. So, now. Let me just put that on there. So all I've got to do is finish this one. I'm going to put my glue gun back on because I need that, obviously. I'm just tidy my desk up a little bit. Here's the rest of my shelving unit. And it is just a shelving unit, so I've cut them, but I've not cut them um, enough. So I just have to make sure I've got them.
Now, I don't think I'm going to be bothering to paint the back of that because that's going to be glued into the um, wall. I'm going to make sure everything's covered. Yeah, I like that. I like the way they're different sized and whatnot. So that's another one done. And I think no. I don't know why that's leaning. We're gonna to have to put a wedge in there, I think, when it's uh, finished. Right, <clears throat> so put these bits away. I don't want to waste them. And I think we're going to move on to um, the walls. Because they have to be done. Oops, put this back on. Put everything back that I know where it is. I can go up there, remove that. I need to get the foam board now. Now I did get it in black and in white. And so I did have enough. So that saved me painting it for one. But I'm going to cover them. Now I think because of the amount of furniture I need, I'm going to use a whole board. So I need the other pieces for the walls. And let me just see. Yes. I need the other one. I need one more board. So I've got enough. Now I know I could have used this board to uh, make the furniture with, but I don't. I don't want to do that. This is only foam board, and now I need to just measure the walls. So obviously the walls are as wide as that, but they have to be the same height. Floor, back, and then. <coughs> And I don't want that too high, so, right, hang on. That has to glue onto there. And I'm going to do some structure strips as well. Yeah. Hang on. That's too big. Let me just set this up. Do I do that? Right, I need to set it up so I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put this at the back for it to lean on. I need to know where it's going to be. I'm going to move this back so you can see that. Now, huh, there's a lot of elements to this, of course. And I might not use all of what I've got, that's the thing. And I've got that one drying on the floor as well. So, this is going to be the back piece, which will go in the middle at the back. Then that one, which is still drying, uh, I'm going to bring out to one side like that. That one is going to go there. The table is going to go here. I've got the other wall. 
that's going to have to do that. I think. Because we've also got that one, which I might put there. Stand that one there. Oh, look, it's starting. Let me just put the light on, see if you can see it. It might help. It is starting to look how I want it. Kind of, sort of. Can you see? Yeah, I'm enjoying this. I like it when it starts coming together. Now, we want that one there. This one can go here. It's a shop. <laughs> then we can put that one there. The little cash register here. There's a little set of drawers there. But I was going to put that on there. And I think I will do. That's going to stay on there to build that unit up. We've got some crates here. We've one of those. We've got some of these. Little container things. That's going to go on the desk with the pencil in. Then we've got the smaller one that goes there. Our little miniature one there. And we've got one of those there. Because it will start and get some colour in it. And I did think... We need a little area with a little chair where somebody can sit and eat. Here's a shop after all, so they don't have to be. And we can do that. Like that. That can go on there. That can go on there. That's it. That's... Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I might not need that little table, actually. Oh, loving it. Absolutely loving it. I don't need the other tall unit, do I? No. Yeah. I'm loving that. I hope you can see it. It's a... Uh... Yes. Love me little cash register. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Yeah. These have rolls, you know, scrolled and everything in. Do I need to do that? Is that too big and just have that? No, I like that one. I like that one. There you go. I might have another chair in there, actually. Let me just see. Which means I'm going to have to paint another bugger, aren't I? But you come in and have a cup of tea as well. Yeah. I like that. So what I need to do now is to finish all the units, um, paint this one, do the floor, and then like I said, this is going to go here, you see, like that. In fact, these can all move back, they can all actually move back up against the uh, wall, which gives that a little bit more room. Yeah, I like that. So I basically need to get them done. So I've got to do the walls. Now, I'm going to make sure that I've got enough of the roll. And I'm not sure if I have. So we may need to... I could probably do this wall, because this is where I can hang some things as well, on the left. But I've got the cork. Let me just see. Whoops. 
yes that will fit that wall but I'm not sure how long it is let me just test because I need two walls and the back wall I can do different I think there's probably enough just let me see I've had this ages waiting for this just need to make sure yes it's long enough that yeah that's fine whoops a lady sorry put that in right that's fine so what i'm going to do now is to put that on now what i did get um i printed some of these bits off that i can start putting the posters in and when i've done that just different things so they're the posters for the wall so i made it with that um yeah i'm just gonna find something to put this lot in while i do the wall and i did also order some more of the brick and i got two different kinds this time that one and that and do you know what i'm gonna use this one for the back of that wall yeah we'll have the stone wall effect there but because i'm gluing this to that i'm not gonna cut out i'm uh, not gonna waste what will be behind that's going to be glued onto there so i'll just make it that i've done a border of that brick and it's embossed you know so it's like a and then i can color it so that's the next job okay i just need to move <laughs> i do need the other piece off with this it's really coming together i'm thrilled so i've got i'm glad i got four uh, two lots of the foam board just me find something to put that lot in there we are got a tub just to set everything in oh so i've got to do the walls and then fit the furniture in where i want it to go but I've got to finish the furniture, obviously. Just want the majority of the bits done. And then that, because some of it has to be finished, finished off. What I need is to cover the back wall and colour it how I want it. Now, <laughs> this paper has been rolled it came in a tube. Okay. So, um, I do need it to be right at the bottom. I'm going to move it over like that. And I might have to just cut the board off a little bit. So I'm going to take my scissors. Trim this off. And we do have to make sure this is soaked well with glue. Uh, this was from, let's have a look. Streetsaheaddollshouse.com Streetsaheaddollshouse.com That's where that's from. Now... Like I said, I... don't want to waste any of this. So I have to take hold of what I want again, which is that one, that one, and that one, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. So I just need to make sure that these all, f where I'm going to have them, there and there. Right. So if I move that up, I don't know if you're seeing this. See what I'm doing? I need, I'm not going to 
I only want that there. I'm not going to waste that bit. That'll be tucked behind. I don't see the point in wasting paper because they're expensive, as you know, or as many people know. Okay. So what I'm going to do is count the bricks in, I think. Uh, one, three, that goes on there. And the three whole bricks. Oh, oh, is that a whole one? One, two. Yeah, now, so that's the centre. And I'm going to take that down to the base. Take my pencil. And we're going to take it in to there. And take that in to there. That covers that lot. That will stay behind that unit. And then we've just got to make sure we do it correct here. Down three bricks. No, no. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. No, we're only going to go down two bricks. No need to do three. So I'm going to go across there. So there. Let me just make sure I've got the right brick. That's it. Okie dokie. So we're going to cut that one out. So I'm not wasting this. It's, it is expensive. So we're going to go to there. Where's my pen gone? Where's my blade gone? To there. And then we've got this one. To there. See, there's loads on that that I can use for something else. So I'm not going to waste. Uh oh. There we go. Why waste that behind a unit? Nah, -uh, nada, nada, nada. <laughs> so now, let's move this out of the way get the board back like I said I'm going to use the whole size of the board uh, first of all I've got to do this and I'm going to use Mod Podge I think oops a daisy now I want to use this one. I'm going to water this one down a little bit. Let me just get a pot. This will do. One of these ramekin jars. You've just got to soak the paper. I'm going to mix that with some water. And literally soak the whole thing. Give it a good mix. Once this is on and stuck firm, I can then take the board and anything that's left, you know, that's showing, I can uh, cut that off. 
but you do have to soak this. Takes out the excess and will really help that stick down. And I'm fine with that. We have to let that dry and then I'm uh, going to come back and I've got some distress inks. Oh, I might be able to do it now anyway. Let me just see. Yes, there we go. So, like we say, that will then stand up that with the back wall. Oh, love the way it's done that, actually. And then that will stand there. Yes, looks nice, doesn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Just need to trim off at the bottom. And then like we say, the sideboards will fit on there like that. Now they have to be cut. And I think I'm just gonna go, um, how, how wide do I want them? How wide do we want the walls? Let's have a look. Oh, about 10 inches. So I'm going to cut 10 inches. Like 
like that. Let's just remove those for a minute. And I'm going to cut this at 10 inches. Now with foam boards, be careful. Don't go delving in. Um, just do your first cut. Like that, which is the top layer. And then cut your second layer and it should be fine. Like that. Cuts off nice and neat. So I now need two of those. And then the floor to match. I'm going to leave that minute. Turn that around and do this side. That's that one. Oh, see, I started to cut into it. So, good job I'm going to be doing the floor. Uh, going to be covering them. Like that. So we now need to cover these. Well, like I said, I'm going to use this. Let me just move these out of the way. Like that. And we're going to be putting this on it. So what I need to do is to see which is the best way, and that just covers that, so I'm only going to cut so much off, you see, like that. Now, I am going to be turning it down on the sides, like that, so I do need to cut a centimetre either side. Well, that were clever, mate. Yeah, that'll do. So I need to do that. Like that. And then what I need to do is to attach it to here. Again using uh, the Mod Podge mix. on the board now I'm going to do this twice as, as well now let that start to dry and go a little bit tacky and I'm going to do that again hope you're seeing this just let that go tacky you can see it doing it I'm just going to re soak it. Especially on the edges. Oops. Okay, 
we can go back over it and that and I'm just going to lay this on top now I need to oh we need a little bit off the edge Now, we need things heavy to lay on it, to hold that down. So I need to go get me the paints. Oh, I've got that. And I've got that. And we need to let that dry. Oh, and that one. And then, let's do this one. This one. Just there. And I'll be back. Right, as you can see, I've now put that on. It's dried. And what I've done is, on this end, you see, I've turned it over. And all I have to do is take my little scissors. And I was just starting to trim that nice and neat on the edge. Like that. Because that's what people are going to see when they look at the miniature. And I've slit it here. And I've done the same at the top end. So I just need to trim that. Make it nice and neat. Now, with the edging of this, I use the hot glue. For the very, you know, for this edge. Um, because... It wouldn't have held with the Mod Podge. It would have had to been a stronger glue of some sort. But that tidied that up, as you can see. A nice, sorry, a nice neat edge on both ends. So that's going to be that. No, and it's the left. <laughs> that's that side of the wall, the right. So it's a nice neat finish at the top and at the bottom there. But now we, what we've got to do is to paint it. But I'm going to do the left-hand side first as well, so we can paint them all together. I like them all to be done at once, if possible. But I also want to have some brickwork showing. Like it's peeling off the walls. You know what I mean? Like the plaster's coming off. Exposing the brickwork. So we're going to do that as well. And I'll use the darker brick for that, I think. And I can use this one, actually. We'll paint some cracks in and that. Yeah. I'll be back when I've given this another coat. Right, this has just come craft papers, wood textures. Um, I thought it was bigger than that, though. I did read the size. Well, that's good to have anyway. And it's a good way you can learn how to do them. So, anyway, that's done. So I've just snipped this one. Now I've glued this on. And I'm trimming that off. In fact, I'll do it with my smaller scissors. It's so much easier. I use these poles. 
um, to push up against it once I'd glued it and held it in until the glue dried. I'm just using some really sharp um, pointed scissors and they're very thin so they can get right down to the base of where you need to be. See? That's lovely and neat, that. And you just rub off any of the glue. So that's that section done. Uh, and then it's this one, isn't it? Uh, how have I done that? Have I done, don't tell me I've done wrong one. Urgh. Yeah, that's to go that way. Oh, you ass. Hey. Now that I had that right, how have I got that wrong? <laughs> I'm tired. I am, I'm tired. That needed to go that way. Like that. I didn't leave enough on that edge, did I? It's not that, it's that way. I'm going to have to do them all the same. Never mind. Right, I've ended up with all three sides done and not the base because that's obviously got to go onto the bottom of the um, floor. So I'm going to do the same with this one and then they're all matching. So I thought I'll show you how I did this one. And this is warped a little bit, so... But it's it's fine, we should be able to bend that. Oops, see, I've just done that. But that's the outside, doesn't matter. I've bent that back to get into shape. But hey, doesn't matter, it's going to be covered up. So I just glue down the edge, like that. Okay. Take these little rollers, and we jut that up against that. And because I haven't got one long enough, I'm going to have to do it like that. And just keep hold of that till that glue dries. Doesn't take long. Okay, so that looks like that's worked. Push that in. That's all I need to do. Push that in. Like that. And then I'm just going to clip this off. You have to be careful. You don't want to rip it that way. So I'm like leaning the scissors this way. And like I say, just rub that and that'll come off. Right, so we've got all three sides done. It looks really neat. Happy with all of that. Now we've just got the floor to do. Uh, what to do? Oh, we've got the back to sort out. So I do need to cut this down. So I'm just going to chop this Like I say, just go into the night, into the foam at, uh, The first time and then do it again the second time And it should just cut it straight off Now the other thing I want to do is When it fits onto the bottom section of the floor Um. I'm going to have the floor s slotted into these. Um, I might need to show you what I mean. Actually, I need to keep hold of that. So we'll have that. And we've got the wall like that. Sorry. So we'll have that. 
and the wall like that can you see that but the walls are slightly smaller than the top of this but I can cut that down yeah I might cut that down actually so I need to do it at that point we'll do it at that one I'm gonna cut it down because I don't want it as tall and this won't go to waste because I can make a, a wooden pit, a, um, a fire pit out of it or something. So I'm just going to go, what did I say now? Oh, come on, woman. That's going to go there. So it's that one. I'm going to do the one above. Oops, a daisy. I'm going to do the one above and that should be fine see I can make that into like um, if I'm doing another garden like that I can make it into let me just pull this down a bit um, a barbecue thing by cutting it to like a barbecue wall that's not a problem okay so we've got that now we need to do the walls finish the walls let's have a look so what I've decided to do is I have got some textured paste here and I don't think it's that one I'm going to use I think it's that one hang on I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one. This is a crackle paste, so it will crack if it hasn't dried up. Look at that. What a waste. It's dried up. Does anybody know what to do when you've got your material dried up like that? Can you mix it with any... Can I shred it? Can I grate it? You know, put it into a powder and start again? Does anybody know? That is a huge tub. $32. Told you it was expensive, and when you don't use it that much, it's a shame. But I don't want to waste it, I will grind it up if I have to. If I can, let me just see what this one is. This is another modeling paste one. Oh, I'm just un <laughs> it's actually stuck, is the lid. But what I found with these plastic ones. You press down like that, going all the way around. It usually releases it from the lid. There you go. There we go, look, modelling paste. Okay, so I am going to use my spatulas. Yeah, this one's all right. Give it a bit of a stir. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you don't use them that often. So what I'm going to do is spread this out.
let's just see what we're going to do with that. I'm still going to stipple it. I'm just saying I didn't want too much on. Right, okay. That's better. Yeah. I don't really want to show the rings in it either, but you've got to have some, I suppose. Okay. Now, before I go any further, I uh, I want to put the paper in. 